Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Father's Day. It is Sunday evening, and as you can see, uh, this is my find of the weekend. Um, this is an exquisite set of Moriage Dragonware um, by Betsons, and uh, made in Japan, hand-painted. Um, let me turn that light off. It's great for still photographs, but not so great for uh, a camera uh, video. There. I think you can see that these are a very unusual um, color combination. I have looked everywhere uh, and have not found the extensive color combinations that are in here. Uh, we've got the red in here. Um, let me take this off. And you can see the detail of where the, the cover is supposed to meet the edge. That's not a chip. That is on purpose. Um, but the black and the gold and the brown and the blue and the pink um, and the aqua. Uh, yeah. These are exquisite. These are different. There is nothing else with this color combo out there. Um, I think the cups and saucers um, are exquisite too, but they don't have any red on them. Uh, so that's just a detail for the um, the um, the main serving pieces, uh, the creamer, and and these are huge, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at the sugar; it's it's almost the size of the uh, teapot, as as well as the creamer. Uh, these are just amazing. Um, here are the cups. Now there is. Are there any? Is there anything missing? There is on one of these. Some of the moriage is missing on this handle here. Um, the other handle seems to be fine, but yeah. I mean, not unexpected, um, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It really just doesn't matter. Uh, the detail of Moriage up here along the rim, and the peach, the aqua, the gold, the gray into black, um, and plates. I mean, did anybody ever really use these things? <laughs> you know, uh, these are sandwich plates. So, here's the deal. Uh, there are six sandwich plates. There are six saucers, but there are only five cups. One cup does have a microchip in it. Where is it? Somewhere around here. And one of these saucers has a chip in it as well. Let me find it. There it is. That's the chip on one saucer. Um, and there is a chip on that one, small. So that means there are two chips on two cups because I could swear the chip I saw before was not where I just saw it. Huh. Let me see. Is that a chip? No, it's paint. Hmm, is it here? I'm going crazy. I seem to be going crazy. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but they're very clean inside. There are no cracks, um, and I just think they're fantastic. If you have any questions at all about these, please uh, DM me. These will not be listed right away. Um, I do, you know, I'm pooped. Um, and it was Father's Day. I had a great lunch with my son, and we went to uh, a flea market. So here you have Betson's probably 1920s, 30s dragonware. Uh, that is in a very unusual, these at least, very unusual color pattern. 
Um, I'm sure they're, they've been around somewhere, but I don't see any listed anywhere with the red. Um, and you know what? The closer you look, the more you, you fall into the trap of just, wow, how did they do this? Uh, we know how they did that, but just the color combos are, are just wonderful. And it's a bold, bold, bold color combination. Black and aqua and pink and blue and gold and gray and white. Uh, yeah. Exquisite. I have not measured these sandwich plates. I'm sure they are the size of most sandwich plates of the era. Um, and again... If you have any questions, just let me know, comment. Please like 20th Century Rescue's channel. And if you have anything to say, of course, comment below. You have a great rest of your Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye.